Hello, this is Miss Blaney and my cat Leo saying hello from my home today and I hope you are having an awesome first week of school. I know I am. I'm so very excited. You're in my class this year. We are going to have the best year of all time. You have no idea. Today we are reading a story, one that I really, really love, and it is called First Day Jitters. This story is by Julie Danberg and it is illustrated by Judy Love. That means that the author is Julie. She's the one who wrote all the words and came up with the idea of the story, okay? Judy Love illustrated it, which means she drew all the awesome pictures and colored them. They worked together to make this book. I love it, I hope you love it. I want you to pay attention to who the characters are in the story. Also, what the setting of the story is, which is where the story happened and when it happened. All right, and also I want you to think about the events of the story so you could tell someone what happened at the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. You can listen to it more than once. I love to do that, especially for stories like these that I love so much. I hope you like it. Here we go. First Day Jitters by Julie Danberg, illustrated by Judy Love. Sarah, dear, time to get out of bed. Mr. Hartwell said, poking his head through the bedroom doorway. You don't want to miss the first day at your new school, do you? I'm not going, said Sarah, and pulled the covers over her head. Of course you're going, honey, said Mr. Hartwell, as he walked over to the window and snapped up the shade. No, I'm not. I don't want to start over again. I hate my new school, Sarah said. She tunneled down to the end of her bed. <laughs> How can you hate your new school, sweetheart? Mr. Hartwell chuckled. You've never been there before. Don't worry. You liked your other school. You'll like this one. Besides, just think of all the new friends you'll meet. That's just it. I don't know anybody, and it will be hard, and I just hate it, that's all. What will everyone think if you aren't there? We told them you were coming. They will think that I am lucky, and they will wish that they were at home in bed like me. Mr. Hartwell sighed. Sarah Jane Hartwell. I'm not playing this silly game one second longer. I'll see you downstairs in five minutes. Sarah tumbled out of bed. She stumbled into the bathroom. She fumbled into her clothes. My head hurts, she moaned as she trudged into the kitchen. Mr. Hartwell handed Sarah a piece of toast and her lunchbox. They walked to the car. Sarah's hands were cold and clammy. They drove down the street. She couldn't breathe. And then they were there. I feel sick, said Sarah weakly. Nonsense, said Mr. Hartwell. You'll love your new school once you get started. Oh, look, there's your principal, Mrs. Burton. Sarah slumped down in her seat. Oh, Sarah, Mrs. Burton gushed, peeking into the car. There you are. Come on, I'll show you where to go. She led Sarah into the building and walked quickly through the crowded hallways. Don't worry, everyone is nervous the first day, she said over her shoulder as Sarah rushed to keep up. When they got to the classroom, most of the children were already in their seats. The class looked up as Mrs. Burton cleared her throat. Class, class, attention please, said Mrs. Burton. When the class was quiet, she led Sarah to the front of the room and said, Class, I would like you to meet... 
your new teacher, Mrs. Sarah Jane Hartwell. What did you think of that one? Were you surprised at the end? I know I was the first time I read that story. Can you tell me who the characters were? Who the main character was? What was the setting? Was there more than one place? Could you tell somebody what happened at the beginning and the middle and at the end? Awesome! I cannot wait to see you guys next time with another read aloud. Have a great first week of school and I can't wait to see you back here.